Last week I posted up a video about gradients. If you haven't seen that, check that out. We're gonna continue with that topic today and I just found something out that's a little bit annoying and I thought you have to know about this thing. And it has to do with using the color gradients from transparent to a color, but the transparent really matters. How you use transparency really matters. I'm gonna show you some examples in this video and what to do and what not to do. Hey, welcome back, my name is Alex. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. We do native script tips, tricks, and tutorials here. And today is a tip. We haven't done one of those in a while. It's a short tip, but it's gonna be a lifesaver if you're gonna be using any kind of gradients and you wanna go from transparent to another color. Let me show you what I mean here. So here I've got just a really simple project. Here is my layout. I have a page. If you're using Angular, you're not gonna have a page, but if you've got Vue or NativeScript Core, then you are gonna have a page. But what matters is really inside here. You have a layout, and we're gonna layer two things on top of each other. We're gonna layer an image, and then on top of that, I'm gonna layer another element. It's gonna be either a label or another layout, but the thing is, it's gonna be an overlay, like a faded overlay. Let me show you what that looks like. So here's an image I have from Unsplash, and I have this image set to Aspect Fill, filling up the entire page, and you can see at the bottom here, we have a fade out from transparent to white. And it looks fine, doesn't it? Yes, this looks fine. And if you just got this kind of image, you might not even notice the problem. Let me show you what the problem is. Let's say you were to use a different kind of image. So I have a different image here. Let me go ahead and comment out that first image and uncomment the second image. Now this image, also from Unsplash, is a little bit different. As you can see here, we have a, <laughs> a beautiful strawberry that I wanna eat, it's making me hungry. But behind the strawberry is still the image, it's not any kind of background, it's actually part of the image. And that yellow part stretches all the way from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen, and we have a gradient at the bottom. But here is the problem. I'm gonna describe this in words in case this doesn't come out well. Basically we have a gradient going from transparent to white. And here's how I have that overlay defined. Here's the CSS, and here is my overlay. I have the height of that being 20%. Let me just fit this both on the screen so you can see both the code and the strawberry, make you hungry. The height is 20%, which means that this label is gonna be at 20% at the bottom of the screen. The margin top is 80%, we're shifting it down. And then here's the key. We have background is a linear gradient going to bottom from transparent to white. Okay? All right, this RGB value should give you a little bit of a hint of how we're gonna fix this. What's going on with transparent? Transparent is not actually giving us transparent, is it? What it's doing is darkening the image and I really don't like that. And you can only notice this when you're looking at an image like this, or if you have just a plain white background. So let me remove this image altogether. Okay, and we're gonna look at the white background with that gradient. And you can see it plain as day right there. You are going from transparent to white, but first you have to stop by gray. Come on, really? Here's how we fix it. Instead of transparent, we're gonna use RGB here. 255, 255, 255, which is white. And this last value is key. This is the transparency, the alpha in RGBA. RGB means red, green, and blue, and RGBA means red, green, and blue, alpha. Okay, so alpha goes from zero to one. All right, RGB goes from zero to 255, alpha goes from zero to one. I don't know why they did it that way. Whatever. So we can pick zero here. That means that this is gonna be transparent white. Ah, I shouldn't say transparent. I'm starting to dislike transparent. I'm gonna call this white with opacity of zero. And then this one is gonna be white with opacity of one. Let's take a look at that. Okay, now the screen is completely white, which is giving me some hope for our images. Let's get that strawberry image back here. There's 
our strawberry image and now you can see a beautiful fade from the strawberry image to white at the bottom without any stop at gray. So this is looking pretty good, which means that now I can probably just go ahead and get my old image back in there. Let's go ahead and comment that back out. There's our old image back and you can see that it's going from transparent to white, fading out. But now you don't have to worry because you know that your transparency is safe there. You might ask, why is this happening? Well, there's some technical reasons behind why transparent doesn't work in this way. And I actually have a video about different levels of transparency and what they mean on this channel. I'll link to it down below, just below the like button. Go ahead and check that video out. This has been a really quick tip. I hope that you learned something and I hope this helps you out. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And I will see you in the next video.